Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Nintendo Switch in the middle part of 2023 and see if this specific device is still worth buying in the middle part of 2023. Now spoiler alert, I think this thing is completely still worth buying. Some things have changed quite a bit within this console even within the last couple of weeks which is crazy. First things first, the outside of this console still looks good. Definitely doesn't look perfect, but it looks good. You know, there's definitely not too much to complain about here. You're, you're still maintaining the same body as you were getting basically however many years ago. It still has a decent display. You're still able to go ahead and use the Joy-Cons on this thing. You're still able to dock this thing. And overall, the outside and the way this console has been holding up for the last couple of years is still good. And, you know, Nintendo is still selling this thing at $300. So nothing has changed there. And I would say from the outside perspective, again, it looks good comes exactly how you'd expect it to come and that's basically essentially what's going on with it. Now there's been no price drops on this thing since day one. Battery life is still about the same. There's been several different soft drop dates that have came out this year which is nice but the biggest changes that have happened at least from the earlier part of this year to right now there's a few things. One we just realized and saw that there's been a couple of new Mario games and big games that have came out this year. Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom came out this year. We're getting some more Mario games coming out later on this year, including Super Mario Wonder, as well as Mario RPG, a remake of it. And we also got a little bit of an interesting news bit about essentially what the successor of the Nintendo Switch could actually end up bringing as well. And the successor of the Nintendo Switch is probably going to have some sort of backwards compatibility of Nintendo Switch games. So that is going to be something that's going to be really awesome. Nintendo makes very few claims about, you know, their, their next consoles. So whenever they say anything, it's super awesome. And they did mention kind of that there's going to be a smoother type of transition going from the Switch consoles that we have now like this one to the next generation one. So of course, they're already working on it. There's going to be another one at some point. So it's really cool that Samsung. So it's really cool that Nintendo is kind of making these types of claims now because that kind of makes me feel better as a Nintendo Switch owner if I own the original Switch Lite or the OLED Switch that, oh, any of the games that I buy now or any of the even games that are going to be coming out later on this year or even next year, I'll still be able to play and use on my next gen console. I know Nintendo has a pretty decent track record of having backwards compatibility for their consoles, but sometimes you never know. But because the Switch lineup is so, it's just so successful for Nintendo, I just don't see why they would even give up that Switch moniker yet. It's just such a successful console lineup that it just makes sense to just keep going with it in my opinion. Now, as it opposed to the Nintendo Switch, the actual console we're talking about in this video, I still think this console is worth buying. I still think if you're in the market and you've never even bought a Switch, it makes a lot of sense to buy it, mostly because of the claims that Nintendo's making of the smooth transition and everything like that. So personally for me, I would just recommend buying it. Again, it's not going to be the most perfect console in the world, but I still play with my Switch all the time. I still even play some of the same games I bought even like a couple years ago, and they're still holding up very, very well. So at the end of the day, that's kind of how I see it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so well done.